Hello everyone, this is The Nelston. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be picking up where I last left off with Growthcraft and I'll explain the advanced liquors and how to get them. I will be referencing young, fermented, potent, and extended liquors. If you have no idea what that means, please go watch the basic guide first to get up to speed. This video will be broken down by alcohol type, so if you're looking for all the recipes of a specific type, please skip to the appropriate section. A new feature added by Growthcraft Cellar is yeast. There are currently five variants of yeast. Brewers, Lager, Bayonis, Ethereal, and Origin. Brewers is used as a partial netherwort substitute, Lager is used to make Lager Ale, Bayonis is used to make port wines, Ethereal is used to make magical liquors, and Origin is used to make intoxicated liquors. To make yeast, you want to put 250 milliliters of young liquor, any liquid which can be fermented, of any kind into a culture jar. The resultant yeast is dependent on the biome. Lager can be made in cold biomes, think snowy. Bayonis can be obtained as a rare drop while harvesting grapes. Ethereal can be made in magic biomes, think like the mystical grove. Origin can be made in mushroom biomes, think mushroom islands. And brewers can be made in any biome, although less commonly in the biomes where other types might flourish. Once you have a yeast of a certain kind, it can be placed in the culture jar along with some young liquor to guarantee production of that yeast type regardless of the biome. Adding redstone to potent cider makes it potent extended, granting level 2 absorption for 2 minutes. Adding ethereal yeast to potent or extended cider turns it into silken nectar, granting a random level 1 positive vanilla potion effect for 10 minutes. Adding origin yeast to potent or extended cider makes it intoxicated, granting either level 3 absorption or level 3 wither for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Adding ethereal yeast to potent or extended wine turns it into ambrosia, granting level 1 resistance and level 1 health boost for 3 minutes. Adding origin yeast to potent or extended wine makes it intoxicated, granting either level 3 resistance or level 3 weakness for 3 minutes. Port wine cannot be made at the time. Mead is a special type of alcohol which requires honey made from the crushed giant filled honeycomb blocks found only in nether hives. It also needs to be fermented twice, once with brewer's yeast only to get mead must, then again with either brewer's yeast or nether wort to get fermented mead. Adding redstone to potent mead makes it potent extended, granting level 3 regeneration for 2 minutes. Adding redstone to extended mead makes it hyperextended, granting level 2 regeneration for 21 minutes and 21 seconds. Adding ethereal yeast to potent or extended mead turns it into magical mead, granting level 3 regeneration for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Adding origin yeast to potent or extended mead makes it intoxicated, granting either level 3 regeneration or level 3 poison for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Adding redstone to potent sake makes it potent extended, granting level 3 resistance for 4 minutes. Adding redstone to extended sake makes it hyperextended, granting level 2 resistance for 21 minutes and 21 seconds. Adding ethereal yeast to potent or extended sake makes it magical, granting level 3 resistance for 4 minutes. Adding ethereal yeast to potent or extended ale makes it hyperextended, granting level 2 haste for 8 minutes. Adding lager yeast to hyperextended ale makes it lager, granting level 3 haste for 10 minutes. Adding origin yeast to potent or extended ale makes it intoxicated, granting either level 3 haste or level 3 mining fatigue for 3 minutes. Adding lager yeast to 1000 milliliters of young hopped ale in a kettle gives you 1000 milliliters of young lager. Adding redstone to potent lager makes it potent extended, granting level 2 haste and level 2 speed for 1 minute and 20 seconds. Adding redstone to extended lager makes it hyperextended, granting level 3 speed and level 3 haste for 16 minutes. Adding ethereal yeast to potent extended lager makes it magical, granting level 2 speed and level 2 haste for 6 minutes. Adding origin yeast to potent or extended lager makes it intoxicated, granting either level 3 speed and level 3 haste, or level 3 mining fatigue for 3 minutes. Adding redstone to potent kumis makes it potent extended, granting level 2 resistance for 4 minutes. Adding redstone to extended kumis makes it hyperextended, granting level 2 resistance for 16 minutes. Adding either redstone to potent extended kumis or glowstone to hyperextended kumis makes it potent hyperextended, 
granting level 3 resistance for 8 minutes. Finally, of note is that we will be adding JEI integration for all of these recipes in the future, so you should be able to see how to make all of them uh, in the future without having to watch this. But for now, this is just a way to get all the information you need about what brews you might want to make. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down in the comment section or join my Discord. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.